and let's see how we can derive a connection between the survival function and this uh, force of causality. And that will turn out to be a very useful and important expression uh, throughout actuarial modeling for mortality uh, data. So we're going to take some time to derive this connection uh, together. So on Monday, we introduced uh, the force of mortality with this particular definition. So we're going to consider the probability that a zero-year-old who reaches age x is going to die right after reaching age x. And we're going to divide this probability by the length of the considered time interval. And we're going to let this length run to zero. So this is the formal definition that we gave. And of course, by using our connection with the survival function of a zero-year-old, we can rewrite this expression in the following way. So that is 1 minus the survival function of a zero-year-old in x plus dx divided by the survival function of a zero-year-old evaluated in x. Manipulating this um, ratio then further learns us that we arrive here at S0x minus S0x plus dx divided by S0x. Okay, and here we said, well, what we recognize here is the definition of a derivative, more particularly a negative de derivative, and you end up then with the following expression for the force of mortality of a zero year old. It is one divided by our survival function multiplied with minus the derivative with respect to x of s0 evaluated in x. So that's the first expression which we obtained last Monday. This is for a zero year old, right? So this is for the random variable dx, which we in fact could see as t0 plus x with the zero as fixed and then the x as our variable that changes, right? If we do something similar, but now for the... But now for a, a zero year, an x year old, so if we do something similar, but now for an x year old where we keep the x as fixed and let the t run over time. So we're considering here... So if we do something similar for an x plus t year old, where we fix the x and let the t run over time, then we find as equivalent definition the following. So here the x is fixed and the t is variable. Right? Whereas here the zero was fixed and the x would be my variable changing over time. Right? Uh, by using the connection between the probability density function of the random variable Tx and the survival function, we find here that this force of mortality can also be written in the following way. So what we use here is the density function as negative, the derivative of a survival function. Right? That's something we discussed on Monday. Now, the goal uh, for the next steps is now to come up with an expression of the survival function as a function of the force of mortality. And in order to, to get there, I want to make the following observation, namely that if I go back to the expression over here, then I can also see that as minus the derivative with respect to x of the logarithm of s0 evaluated in x. Right? That's because of the chain rule when you take this uh, derivative. So bringing that to our attention hmm, so shows me that the mu x is minus the derivative with respect to x, the logarithm of s 0 x. Okay? So if I'm going to manipulate this guy, I can take the integral from 0 to y with respect to x, I can do that here, and I can also do that over here, okay? I can work out both integrals, and then I obtain the integral from 0 to y of mu x dx. 
is equal to, and here I see the integral of negative derivative of a function. Yeah? So what I need to do then is I can rewrite that as minus the integral from zero to y of uh, d log s zero x. So that's what I obtained so far. Bringing the minus sign to the, um, to the other side and by rewriting this guy as the logarithm of s zero evaluated in y minus the logarithm of s zero evaluated in zero. What I see now is my survival function of my zero year old evaluated in zero. Well, that's just one because the survival function starts from one and then decreases to zero, right? And the logarithm of one, that is zero. So this term cancels out. So what I'm left with finally is the following expression for the survival function of a zero year old evaluated in y. That is the exponential of minus the integrated force of mortality. And that's a very interesting expression because it tells me that if I have access to this force of mortality, if I can build an actuarial model or an econometric model for the force of mortality, then here I find a way to um, step from this force of mortality towards evaluating survival probabilities. And that will be very important because econometricians will typically specify econometric models to capture the um, evolution of mortality over time, will typically specify their models at the level of the force of mortality. So in that way, it's very necessary and handy to have an expression to go from the force of mortality to the survival function. Now, of course, this is for a zero year old. So how can we make it more general? Well, then we're gonna focus on the survival function of a X year old evaluated in T. So we know that that is the probability that Tx is strictly larger than T or written uh, via the connection between T0 and Tx, that is T0 larger than X plus T given that T0 is larger than X. So in this case, I can, right, so I can rewrite this as the survival function of my zero year old evaluated in X plus T divided by the survival function of my zero year old evaluated in X. But what I now want to do is I want to use the integral expression that I obtained over here for the survival function of the zero year old and I want to plug it in over here. So that it gives me the exponential minus the integral from zero to x plus t of mu r dr divided by the exponential of minus the integral from zero to x of mu r dr. So do note that I'm uh, switching here to an integration variable r because the x is already used as the upper bound in my integral. Simplifying this expression, uh, so if I look at the ratio of these two exponential functions, if I work with this integral, then what I retrieve in the end is the exponential of minus the integral from x to x plus t of mu r dr. Right? Now there is one final step for me to do, and that's a switch of integration variables. So in the end, where I'm, I arrived right now at saying the survival function of an X year old evaluated in T, that can be expressed as the exponential of minus the integral from X until X plus T of mu R dr, right? But that means that the R is gonna run from X to X plus T. Or put differently, I could say I'm going to switch to another uh, integration variable, say R star or something, um, which runs from zero to T. But then what I want to consider is not just R star, but X plus R star, right? With the R star running from zero to T, so that in total, I reach the same range of values as I originally had 
for my integration variable r, right? So putting all of that together, I retrieve the expression, it's the exponential of minus the integral from zero to t of mu x plus r star d r star, right? And that is a very important expression. It's a very general expression in the sense that beyond actuarial science, also in general statistics, this is how you express a survival function as a function of the hazard rate. And the hazard rate here is called the force of mortality, but this is a very important expression. 